thank you so much. I appreciate everything. I see some some names from the past, Stormy Mills and uh, Steam, and all the people that I've known for all the years. And welcome to all the new people who I haven't met. Uh, what I want to do today is to uh, just kind of run through a, a history of what a documenter uh, goes through to create a, an archive. And uh, we can start with that. I'm, I'm looking forward to that, Jim. So can I read off uh, a little bit of your bio uh, just to let people know a little bit about you, uh, if I may? Um, one of the things that I, I, I will, I should mention to folks, of course, you are a an American photographer, author, and lecturer focusing on public murals, graffiti, and spray can art. Uh, Jim has traveled extensively throughout the world documenting these art forms, and his personal archive of 80,000 slides may well be the most comprehensive of any individual mural and graffiti documentation. Uh, it was in the early 70s that Prigoff became interested in documenting public murals. He was intrigued by the community nature of the murals, their artistic merit, and their ability to address issues that were not normally found in newspapers, television, or other media. He traveled extensively, amassing one of the largest documentations of this art form photographed by a single individual. Along the way, he could not help but notice the appearance of graffiti in New York City and Philadelphia and he began to document this, this as well. As well, he wrote to Henry, his friend Henry Chalfont and they joined together and creating, in creating uh, the seminal book, Spray Can Art, which was published in 1987 and has sold over 20, uh, sorry, over 250,000 copies. Wow, that's pretty impressive. So uh, James, uh, uh, or Jim, as depending on how you would prefer to be called. Um, uh, why don't we uh, start from the top? Uh, you know, spray can art. Why don't we just start th start there, and and then we'll roll into the slides. Yeah, uh, let me just go through the slides, and then we can have a uh, question and answer period. So yeah. First one. Okay. Tell us about this this slide, USA out of Columbia. Spray can art that comes out in 1987. Henry Chalfin and I traveled around the world uh, documenting the art that was out there at that time. We had no idea, uh, frankly, whether it would last. Let's go back. To, can we go back to the spray can art? I'll leave this as just fine. So we didn't know what would happen, but 250,000 copies later, uh, the book is still in print and uh, uh, obviously been read by a lot of people. I want to just start where I started, and that is with murals. I was documenting public art, community art, political art. Uh, this was on the wall at uh, 18th and Western in Chicago. Definitely the well, but it has to do with the uh, wars controversy in Central America, and a number of very well-known artists came to the wall. Uh, one interesting thing about it was the guard came, it's at a railroad station, and he asked me if we had uh, permission to uh, paint the wall, and I said to him, do you think we would be here without permission? So he said, that's fine, of course we didn't have that. So this is a very political mural, and that's what I was focused on in the early days. Next. And we go to the next one. Yeah, there's a little bit of delay. Okay, yes, there's a little bit of a delay, uh, okay. Jim. So, so here on the side of this, this uh, a lot of building. Well, okay, we got past the Virgin Mary. Uh, if you go to LA, you probably could find a thousand of these. So some of the murals, some of the public art, mostly in East LA, has to do with religion. And uh, uh, there was a time when somebody started to paint these out, and there was a big controversy over that for sure. Next. Jim, can I ask that, that you place your phone stationary 
uh, in a way so it doesn't shake as much. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do with that. So. Um, no, I, 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 you're, you're sideways. I would like it vertical. All right, this, I, this is Duarte's house. Uh, Hector Duarte's painted many, many murals in Chicago and it decorated his own house with a number of images. Hey, Jim, are you originally from Chicago? Where, where are you originally from? I was in Chicago from 75 to 80 and have gone back there so many times. Uh, and and you're, give, me some con give me some context. Are you a native from where? I'm sorry, I'm having difficulty in hearing your voice. Yes. You're a native from where? Where, where were you? Where are you raised? born and raised? I came, I was born in New York City, uh, moved out to Westchester County and went to Chicago in 75 and came to San Francisco, 81, and to Sacramento in 89. Uh, next slide. I'm just showing you a wide variety of public images so you get a sense of uh, mural arts that I was tracking. I don't know why they move slowly, but they do. This must be a tough one. <laughs> so the, mur the mural I'm looking at, it seems it's in a public building or a school. And then, of um, course, school murals. Uh, Chicago has many, many murals that are painted on the schools. Okay, let's keep, let's, let's keep them moving. I'm sorry that they move so slowly. So now what we're seeing though in these murals, Jim, is that you're, you're, you're focusing, it, it seems like this, these murals are mainly being produced by the Latin American community. They're Latin American. Yes, yes. well, Chicago has a big Puerto Rican community, that was a very big Mexican community. Here we see a mural that celebrates uh, both the present and the past history, uh, very common uh, in the Wilson area. Uh, people have great pride in these murals. They represent themes that are uh, close to their identity and they are very protective of them. So you started noticing the graffiti writing early on, and these slides that we're, you're introducing me to are the Futura tags. That's just a few of the murals, but what I want to give you now is kind of a uh, very simple, oversimplified history of graffiti in four slides. So here's a Futura, 2000. I find this in about 1978 in the West Side Tunnel. And you'll notice Futura already has a little bit of style. He's got a arrow, a point, he's got a star. 2000 seemed like 22 years away. Uh, it seemed pretty distant. And here we are, of course, in 2020. So that's the first Futura that I found. And let's go to the next one. Uh, Jim, what I find interesting in this photograph as well is that somebody wrote their name, but also uh, dated it 1978. You said somebody wrote it, uh, dated it 1978. Yeah, yeah that's, that's when I took the picture. I don't know if that's accurate, but it could have been there earlier, but probably not. Probably pretty close. This, is, that, that this was in uh, Freedom's Tunnel. Uh, on the west side. Then I go to LA and, and I find an abutment and lo and behold, uh, there's Futura now with really very different calligraphy. Uh, there it comes up. So we see Futura again, 1000. He says he's from New York City and uh, obviously he's with frame one, uh, kill to succeed. And you see the little frame character down below. So now Futura is moving on uh, with his style. And the, the next slide kind of uh, is a major long jump. It's in the 
Hall of Fame in New York City. And Futura, one of his greatest pieces. Uh, uh, abstract. Remember that the days where we're doing characters, people were doing letters, but lo and behold, Futura comes up with this just gorgeous. His colors and the screen don't Jim. look nearly as good as the, as the photo itself. Uh, actually, BMW in Europe purchased this uh, image uh, because they're. Uh, I'm sorry, James. We're having a problem with the connection. I art. They're and having a problem. Yeah. Uh, we're having a problem with the connection. I'm going to disconnect. Uh, it's just the reception. We're not getting good reception on your end, and his voice keeps dropping out. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to drop him and and start and pick him up again. Uh, did you by any chance sign on to his uh, his uh, internet? We were his, on his... mine. We're next door and so because I can't get into his sure okay so I'm gonna sign off and and sign you back on <laughs> <laughs>